So anytime you're creating rules for a diverse community, really you can't just create them in isolation. You have to understand people's backgrounds and really where they come from. It's easy just to set up rules one time and be done with it, but it's the constant feedback from the community that these rules apply to that really matter. I'm Karen. I am the lead moderator of the Rainbow Six subreddit, and I'm the lead admin for the Rainbow Six Discord as well. So what I do day to day is I look over the community along with my mod team, and what we really strive for is creating a rule set for the community to abide by, more so to keep the community a nice, fun place for everyone to be involved and not exclusionary. The original thing that called me on Siege was the amount of time I would just spend thinking about it. Like, I was senior at the college at the time, and I would spend hours in labs and classes not paying attention, just like daydreaming about Siege and like the operator interactions and all the maps. So that level of complexity was something more I could really sink my teeth into, and I enjoyed complex puzzles, and I'm not very good at aiming. So that I could beat people in Siege by being smarter and knowing the map versus flicking on them as fast as possible. I mean, obviously it helps, but there was the game rewarded knowledge so much more than anything else I'd played at the time that I just loved it. When you're someone like Jacob and you're running both the Discord and the Reddit, uh, well, really there's over a million players who are subscribed to one or the other. It takes a lot to be able to bring everyone together in a place where they feel they are sharing their own stories, sharing their experiences about the game. Reddit and Discord are definitely not in a vacuum. They reflect a lot of what current society is, how people feel about things. It's really easy when you become a moderator to just pick out all the bad things that happen. And be like, this is this entire platform. I've always made a concerted effort to really push against that. You always deal with idiots on the internet, but it is the idiots you occasionally are dealing with is because of the role you're in. It's not indicative of the entire platform. I don't see normal Redditors most of the time. I see the bad people, people who are getting reported for saying things they shouldn't say and things like that. He always has to make the correct call, and there have been instances where mistakes have been made, and him and his team have done a phenomenal job of owning up to that and accepting that, and that's the reality of working in a live environment with players, with a community that's always growing, interacting, and never really stops. Reddit can definitely be viewed as a microcosm. There's always going to be troublemakers inside of Reddit and society, but there's also always going to be people pushing against that. Um, people really try to write it. So that is people in the community who, even if they're not moderators, there are people who help, who just say, hey, if you need help, go to this page. Hey, if you are looking for this, go here. If you're looking for help, go watch this person's stream. The major key difference is it's not just one part of the world that we're seeing on these communities. Just like large cities these days, it's really a melting pot. It's people from a bunch of different cultures, time zones, different parts of the world from different backgrounds. And that's always something we have to keep in mind. We have a player base of 15 million players. And with that comes a lot of different personalities, a lot of different types of people, people from all over the world. And it's hard trying to get everyone under one umbrella to have them discuss, to talk about their love for the game. So definitely one of the key challenges of being a Reddit moderator, as well as the things that I really enjoy, is the fact that I interact with people all across the globe. I am just one guy who's lived on the eastern side of the U.S. for most of his life, so I have one worldview, but I know that's not everyone's. It's pulling back a little bit and making sure that I'm not enforcing my one worldview on everyone. We try to get moderators from a bunch of different countries. We couldn't just have one or two guys sitting on like the eastern U.S. and be happy with it. One, we wouldn't have enough coverage. Two, we wouldn't have the diversity and it just become, you're hearing Reddit and Discord through the viewpoint of one very specific culture and what I would find acceptable, and that's not what people are on the platform is for. <laughs>